Thank you. Um, my presentation's always uh, are also focused around a, a trailer, but unfortunately ours isn't as big as Kempsey's. Um, so uh, the title of this, uh, the presentation is Responding to the Illegal Dumping of Asbestos uh, and Asbestos Emergencies and what Balanchide Council has done to address this. So a little bit of background, approximately one third of all homes built in Australia contain asbestos products. As a general rule, if your house was built before the mid 80s, it's likely that it would have some asbestos containing materials. The risk of exposure from the built environment is broad with the potential to impact the entire community. Oops, I'm going one too far. Uh, until the early 80s, fibro was a popular choice of material for building in Ballina and the coastal village of Lennox Head, uh, as it was durable against salt-laden air. Asbestos-containing material was also extensively used for fencing outbuildings and water main construction. Uh, this posed a massive environmental and health issue for the local community and council staff following a tornado that struck Lennox Head in 2010. Uh, manufacture of products containing asbestos was discontinued in uh, 1987 due to health risks. Materials containing asbestos not, do not usually pose a health risk if they are intact and left undisturbed. This was obviously not the case here. Those couple of slides are just of the, um, the caravan park at Lennox. Uh, any of you know Lennox at all? Um, the tornado came in just north of the, uh, the pub, which is in the centre of town. Uh, basically, uh, took a path uh, a block or two back and then headed north and um, basically cleaned up the uh, caravan park. Um, it was in June 2010 when the Lennox Head Tornado created a media frenzy with regard to the seemingly selective destruction of homes as the funnel moved through the town. The more dangerous but quieter issue uh, was that of asbestos fragments ripped away then deposited on public land. This had to be managed by council staff, contractors and emergency personnel in a safe manner. This is just a, um, a photo, a typical beach house, older beach house at Lennox. Um, you see the asbestos uh, roof, also the asbestos fencing out the front. Got another picture of um, just asbestos fencing laying down on the, on the, on the road and, and the road reserve. And that's what our guys and emergency services had to deal with. So following the tornado, the incident identified the need for improved management and handling of asbestos during emergencies. The staff of Council's Water and Wastewater Unit became invaluable during the cleanup following the tornado as all staff had previously been trained in asbestos management or bonded asbestos sheet removal. Um, the training uh, was more for our staff in uh, dealing with asbestos water mains, um, but uh, the training ended up being used um, in a wider, wider way, um, especially with uh, illegal dumping, et cetera. Uh, the disaster provided an opportunity to review Council's asbestos management processes and the concept of an emergency response trailer was born. In consultation with water and wastewater staff and Council's tradesmen, uh, being our, our uh, workshop, management approved the concept of a fully equipped emergency response trailer. Uh, Purpose-built trailer was constructed for responding to non friable asbestos incidents. And just on that, over 97% of asbestos products in Australia were non friable material in which the asbestos fibres were bounded by cement, vinyl, resin or other similar material. The trailer is set up for immediate deployment for illegal dumping incidents or routine replacement of asbestos water mains. The cost of the project uh, rolled out at 28,000. Um, the reason it was that much is because the first trailer the workshop made really didn't suit what we wanted, so 
and we gave that to open spaces and uh, we started again. So if we were to build another one today, fully equipped, I'd, I'd expect it to come in around $15,000. Um, just these next couple of slides are uh, some of the, the equipment we carry on the trailer. Uh, we found it's uh, got a dual purpose as well as uh, it can attend minor sewer overflows because we carry disinfectants and, uh, and spill kits, etc., for doing that. But primarily, uh, it's just used for asbestos cleanups. Uh, I won't go through the list, but you can see we've got a couple of vacuum, vacuum cleaners, uh, generator, we've got emergency shower, and I've got a photo of that coming up. Uh, so that goes on. So this is just the front of the trailer. We've got a, um, a 50 litre water tank, and uh, covered up below that is a, a generator. There's just a... Uh, Photo of uh, it in use out the back, one of the back uh, roads behind Ballina, where there's an illegal dumping over a bank. Um, the trailer is usually towed behind a, a small tip truck. This way, the dumped asbestos can be uh, double wrap, uh, double wrap, placed in the back of the truck, and then uh, taken to a licensed waste facility. That, that photo on the left is just the uh, emergency uh, shower setup. Um, it, it just runs. Uh, we run a lay flat hose to a standpipe and um, the guys just get in that. That's a bunded area around there, so after they've been washed down, we, um, we can collect, uh, it's, uh, collect the liquid in the bunded area. Uh, just another shot of uh, the vacuum cleaner. There's two vacuum cleaners and some other equipment. So um, the trailer has been in use now for um, over four years with huge success. Fortunately, there have been no further large-scale natural disasters. However, legal roadside dumping continues to be a, an issue. Uh, it's just a couple of shots of uh, staff at that site um, just cleaning up the asbestos. Uh, where are we now? In 2014, Ballina Show Council won the Asbestos Management Award, Division B, for the Asbestos Trailer at the Local Government Excellence in the Environment Awards. Uh, some of our most significant achievements today include a broader approach to asbestos management within the Ballina Shire and assisting other local emergency services. Uh, asbestos kits were provided uh, by our regulatory services group to Ballina Fire Brigade to enable on-site collection of asbestos samples. Uh, this is how, this is saved fire brigade time by not requiring other personnel to attend the sites. Um, and also the local rural fire service has taken this up as well. Uh, within the last four years, the asbestos trailer has been primarily used for legal asbestos dumping, clean up around the Balma Shire. The next biggest use has been in the management of asbestos water mains and the repairs, which we have a lot of in our Shire. Uh, overall, Council has been extremely satisfied with the project and staff feedback has been positive on the use of the trailer. Uh, put it into perspective, Council gets called probably two to three months uh, on, on the dumping of a, an illegal asbestos. Uh, uh, staff can be called away from uh, regular duties at short notice and attend the asbestos scene knowing the trailer is fully equipped and always ready to deploy. The trailer gets restocked after every use. And that is it. Thank you.